In this short, we're going to learn about axis plane movement and their connecting link. There are three axes. So first is the x axis which goes horizontally like this. You can also call it as medial lateral axis or coronal axis. The second axis is the y axis which goes upwards and downwards. It is also called as vertical axis. Now the third axis is the z axis which goes anterior posteriorly or you can also call it as anterior posterior axis. Now there are three cardinal planes in human body. First is the frontal plane or y-x plane. It divides the body in dorsal and ventral half. The second plane is the sagittal plane or y-z plane. It divides the body in right half and left half. Now the third plane is the transverse plane or z-x plane. It divides the body in superior part and inferior part. So there are three pairs of anatomical rotation possible in human body. So the first pair of movement is the flexion and extension. You can see the movement from the side view. So the movement is occurring in sagittal plane or y-z plane and perpendicular to the plane is the x-axis. So flexion extension is happening in sagittal plane and x-axis. The second pair of movement is the abduction and adduction. Now you can see this movement from the frontal view. So the movement is occurring in frontal plane or y-x plane and perpendicular to the plane is the z-axis. So it also occurs around the z-axis. Now the third pair of movement that is the internal rotation and external rotation. You can see the movement from the above view or the transverse plane that is the z-x plane. Perpendicular to the plane is the y-axis. So internal rotation and external rotation is happening in transverse plane and around y-axis. That's one minute of biomechanics for you. See you in the next video.